Welcome to my channel or welcome back. So my name is Katie. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. So today is my September Pan That Palette update and it's only been a couple weeks since I put up my August update. I did actually film that one on time, but I've had some computer issues and my ADHD has really just been like kicking my butt recently. So it took me a lot longer to get that one edited and up than I expected it to. So this update does actually reflect a month's worth of progress and I have some really good progress to share. I'm super happy with how this is going and I'm really coming down. I say this every update, the home stretch with this palette, but I do have one shade that is so close to being finished it's definitely going to be gone by the next update and then the remaining two only have a couple months left on them so I'm really happy with how things are looking and the progress that I've been able to make. I did also film my help me pick my next pan that palette video and it's somewhere in the editing pipeline so I think this update will probably be up before that but that should be up within a few days of this video going live so I will have that link down in the description once it's up. Having said all of that let's get straight on into the progress. So as a little refresher I've been working on a combination of the Pat McGrath Mini Sublime and the Natasha Denona Mini Retro. I have two shades left from Mini Sublime and one shade remaining from Mini Retro. And as of the last update, I had pan on all three of my remaining shades. My main focus was just pan expansion. I was hoping to hit side pan on Sinful, which is the greenish gold shade. And I was just working on pan expansion on the other two. So this is what my palette is looking like right now. And as you guys can see, I have some pretty significant progress, especially on Sinful over here. I've been reaching into this palette really often. I'm still sort of struggling with getting my sleep schedule back on track. So a lot of these shades, especially industrial and sex revert right here have been really great as all over lid shades with some mascara either swiped on as I'm heading out the door or put on really quickly once I'm already at work. I would say I've been doing that at least once or twice a week over the last three to four weeks and so that has helped me get some really great progress on these two shades which obviously are going a little bit slower than Sinful. Sinful, I say this every update, has kind of been my default inner corner highlight but I have been making more of an effort to use this as more of a lid shade as well even though I find that this is a little bit bright to work as a lid shade. It just sort of tends to make my eyes look a little weird when I use it on the lid. I generally prefer how this one looks on the inner corner or like the inner third, but I have been trying to incorporate it in other areas of my eyelid as well. So as always, I'm going to start off with the numbers on Sinful, and I have used this one 21 times since the last update. It looks very much different. I had definitely a pretty decent sized pan as of the last update. I actually repressed both this one and Industrial fairly early on in the month. I think that was somewhere before the middle of August, and so I've been working on them since then. I did obviously re-hit pan on Sinful and I have actually hit side pan and I'm kind of just working on clearing up these corners. And then this area right here is super thin too. So every time I use this, I see quite a bit of pan expansion. Even if I'm only using a tiny bit of it, there's really not much left in this pan. So I'm really happy about that. I'm up to 21 uses since the last update and I'm actually at 104 total uses on Sinful overall. So moving on to Sextrovert, I'm also really happy with the progress that I'm seeing on this one. This one has been a little bit slower going for me. I've had a couple months where I just haven't been as interested in reaching for Sextrovert. I've been really trying to make an effort to use this one more because I really do like it and it is a great one and done lid shade. I can kind of bring it up a little bit onto the crease to add just like a little bit more dimension. And so I've been doing that pretty often, like I said, with some mascara on busy mornings. So I've used Sextrovert nine times since the last update and I'm really happy with how it's coming along. I didn't think I'd actually expanded pan a whole lot until I looked at the photos. There is definitely less in here. So I am working my way through it, even though this one is more on the slow but steady side of things. I'm feeling more hopeful about finishing this one before the end of the year than I was a month or so ago. So I'm really happy with that. And lastly, Industrial. This one was also repressed at the same time as Sinful. It took me a while to re-hit pan, but I have managed to do that as you guys can see. And I do have some pan expansion, so I'm really happy about that. I've used this one eight times since August. Every time I dip into this one, the pan does expand pretty decently. So I'm thinking this one probably has like two-ish months left on it. I didn't expect to use this one as much, especially towards August, but August here was very muggy and gloomy and rainy and overcast. So this just really felt appropriate for that kind of weather. So I ended up reaching into industrial a lot more than I expected to for this time of year, but I'm really happy with how this one is going. So in terms of goals for the next update, I do really want to finish Sinful. That's top of my list. At first I was thinking, oh, I'll be sad when this one is gone, but I actually went through a couple of days ago and swatched out all of the shades that I thought might be similar. The shade Mary Jane from the Melt Mary Jane palette is almost an exact dupe. It's a little bit darker, but they're very, very similar. And then I also have some similar-ish shades within the ColourPop the Child palette 
palette so once this one is gone I don't think I'll be missing it as much as I initially thought because I do have quite a few shades that are similar enough. I also want to continue the pan expansion on industrial. I don't think I'll be able to finish this one by the next update. Fall is my favorite season and I really enjoy reaching for rich saturated oranges, reds, greens. I'm giving myself permission to back off a little bit on industrial just to like really enjoy the fall season. I want to reach for it at least once a week or so and I think that will allow me to still make progress on this one while allowing myself to take advantage of my favorite time of year and the kind of makeup that I want to wear and industrial doesn't normally fall under that umbrella. And lastly for Sextrovert I do want to just continue on the pan expansion on this one. There's enough pan showing on Sextrovert right now where it's starting to get a little bit more difficult to pick up so I'm thinking with this one I will probably want to repress this one. Maybe not immediately but I would say by the middle of the month this will probably need to be repressed so once that happens I usually like to hit pan on that one by the next update so I'm hoping that I will have either more pan on this one or a new smaller pan after repressing this one. We'll just kind of see how that goes. That is pretty much everything that I have for this update. Hopefully I will have at least one shade down by the next update. I'd be very surprised if it's two, but I think one is definitely doable. As always, if you enjoy the video, feel free to give it a like. If you enjoy my content, I upload new videos when I can, so feel free to subscribe if you'd like to. And as always, if you're doing this project, let me know down below what you're working on and how it's going for you, and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye!